Today I'm going to talk about major events. So a major event is a major event that is running at your school. It can span one or several days. It might be something like a fall festival or a winter carnival or in the example I'm going to show a book fair that spans four days. It's made up of several opportunities that are generated from the major event and they are associated with the major event that you create. And that gives you the advantage that you can invite the volunteers to participate for that and invite them to all of the opportunities associated with that event all at one time. For this example, I'm going to play the part of Michelle Foster, a teacher at Kulumi Elementary, and I'm going to create a major event. Now notice here on my homepage that currently I don't have any upcoming opportunities that I'm coordinating. For now, I'm going to go to the major events page and to create my major event I'm going to select a new major event and give it a name and a description and I can obviously specify the group that's responsible for this major event and specify our school Kulumi Elementary and the location and we're going to run this in the library I'm going to select an image for the major event and the image will be copied to each one of the associated opportunities as well. Specify the beginning date for the major event. So this is happening in April, the second week of April, starting on the Tuesday, the 7th, and running to the Friday, the 10th. And I'll specify the start time. This runs from 9 a.m to 3 p.m. each day. Okay, so I would also specify what the activities are. Now, obviously, book fairs is a good choice here, but when volunteers, they sign up for your school to volunteer, they specify which activities they're interested in, so you'll get a broader group of volunteers to invite the more you specify. So I'll specify four here, and I must specify a primary activity as well. You can optionally provide a detailed description and you can optionally attach any associated files as well. And I've got one here that has a listing of books that are available at the book fair this year uh, and also some instructions for the volunteers. That information, you know, that file attachment, that detailed description will be copied to each one of those. So I can save these changes and immediately go on to generate the associated opportunities, but instead I'm going to save and close this and do this in steps. So I can see here on my major events page that my major event is created, you know, April 7th to 10th. I can see that there are no opportunities here that I've generated for it. So they'll be listed right underneath here. So I'm going to go back into my major event and go on to that second stage, which is to generate the opportunity. So there's a button here, uh, create opportunities for this event. And that basically just expands this area here where I can define know each one of those uh, opportunities now actually I need a setup opportunity we're gonna set up the book fair I'm gonna need four volunteers for that and that's actually starting the day before so that's gonna happen on Monday the 6th so you can see that the date defaults to the first date of the major event and we're gonna do that from 4 to 6 p.m. on that Monday and I can go ahead and push this button to generate the opportunities for what's defined above here. And one opportunity was created, and I can see that listed here in the associated opportunities. So now to the actual date of the event. So I'm going to generate some for the book fair. And I actually only need three volunteers for you know, each one of the days that we're running it. So uh, running that on, actually not Monday, sorry. Tuesday. And I need to specify the date for that, which is April the 7th. That's the and this starts at 9 a.m. And I'm going to define three shifts for each day. So I've got one from 9 to 11. There are going to be three two-hour shifts. So I'll run one from 11 till 1. And I'll add yet another shift. So I can use these buttons to add or remove a shift. And I'll add another one from you know, 1 to 3 p.m. I'll go ahead and generate those for the Tuesday. And I can see those listed here. 
Okay, so I can see Book Fair Tuesday, you know, for April 7th from 9 to 11, 11 to 1, and 1 to 3. And I just continue for those other days as well. And I can see all of those for the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And I'll need one more, and that's the Book Fair Breakdown. Okay, we'll also do that on the Friday, uh, but uh, that'll happen, like I say, 3.30 to 5.30, and I no longer need these other two time slots for this particular portion of the major event. We'll break that down, and I do need where I'm requesting four volunteers for that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close that. And now I can see here in my major events view, my major event, and all of the associated activities for that. Now, let me return to the home page. And I can also see that there are 14 uh, opportunities that I'm currently managing right now. Like any other opportunities that are generated from perhaps a template that you have or one-time opportunities that you've created, you can use this to go to the opportunities page. And I can see my 14 opportunities that I just created all related to the book fair. I could manage them from here, but that would not be a good idea. If I'm managing them from here, I'm managing them as separate opportunities. A much easier way to do that is go to the major events page, open up your major event, and you can click on anywhere here in the table or on the title to open it. And from here, it is a much better place to manage the opportunities associated with a major event. So you can send an invitation summary email for all of these selected ones. So I can select my opportunities for this major event individually, or I can click here to select all of them. And then I can push this button to send an invitation summary email for all of these selected. So I'll do that. And it immediately matched up with nine volunteers whose preferred activities match for our location, Kulami Elementary. I'm going to visit this email afterwards to show you what it looks like from a volunteer perspective. So I'll go ahead and send that. And I can see now that nine people have been invited for each opportunity associated with this. Okay, for the remainder of this video, I'm going to put on my volunteer hat and I am Jane Doe. I'm a volunteer at Kulami Elementary, and I see I have some new mail here in my Gmail account, so let's see what this is. And this is an invitation to a, a book fair event at 308 Kulami, and uh, it's coordinated by Michelle Foster. And I can see all of the um, various opportunities associated with that major event and the various uh, date and times for those events. And I want to volunteer for this. So I'm going to use this link here. Click here to open the sign up page for this event. And it brings me into Volunteer Tracker. And I can see that there are all of those listed events just as they were listed in my email. Now I'm going to actually shrink down my screen here and show you what this looks like. Uh, more from a uh, handheld device. And a lot of volunteers are currently accessing the Volunteer Tracker application on their iPhones, and that does make a lot of sense. So I can still see all of the various opportunities, the dates, the times, and I can start to sign up for these. So I'm not too interested in the setup, but starting on the Tuesday, I'm going to sign up for those morning book fair events. So I'll go ahead and sign up for that one. And uh, maybe I'll sign up for uh, the next morning uh, on the Wednesday. And there's an indication, you know, as I sign up for these that I've signed up for them. Now, if I were to attempt to sign up for one where I'm already booked, uh, and let me try that. I get an indication. Uh, you're not signed up for this opportunity. You are already assigned to another opportunity for this same date and time. Uh, so, the Volunteer Tracker does keep track of my assignments and all of my other assignments and make sure that I don't have some sort of a conflict. I'm not signing up for too many things in the same time, on the same date and times. Okay, so that's how it, easy it is for your volunteers to sign up for a major event, uh, sign up for your major events, and that's it for this particular training video and good luck running your next major events.